Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I have Samsung Galaxy S3 with me and today we are going to flash the latest Android version called Android Nougat 7.1 fixed device so stay tuned for that. So what you need to do is to download the ROM and the GApps at the first place. So you need to download the um, Sunish Mod 14.1 file together with the um, GApps file. So I've already done that as you can see here it says CM14.1 and um, I've also already downloaded the OpenG apps for Android 7.1. So these two files are needed to flash the ROM. What you need what you need also is uh, the Tmon recovery. So without the Tmon recovery installed on your phone, you can't install this ROM. I won't show you how to install Tmon recovery since there are many, many other videos showing you how to do that. But yeah, let's proceed now. So what you need to do at the first place is to power off your device and boot into the recovery mode. So let's do that. So the device is now turned off and what you need to do now is to press the volume up button, the home button and the, po and the power button at the same time. And with that combination we are getting into the team and recovery. So the phone booted up now into the recovery mode and what you need to do now is to do a wipe first. So let's do that. Now let's go to the install option and what you need to do now is to locate the ROM where you have stored it. In my case it's in the internal storage and here is it. So just press on it and swipe to install. And this could take about 3 to 5 minutes, maybe even longer. Just need to wait. So. So the flashing process is now completed and as you can see here it says unknown error, um, unknown comment or something like that. This isn't an error as you may think, um, yeah, you can just ignore that. Now, what you need to do now is to go back and install the gapps and we need the gapps in order, we need the gapps to get the play store and any other google stuff working so without the gapps you can't get the play store working. And what you need to download is the OpenG apps, uh, ARM and 7.0. It must be 7.0 in order um, to flash it. So, and this could even take longer than the installation of the ROM. Again, just need to wait. So the flashing process of the GApps is completed now and what you need to do is to go at home and reboot to the system. So the phone booted up now as you can see and this is the the boot um, sorry the setup screen of Android Nougat Android 7.1 let's select English here go next skip I will skip everything now skip skip anyway skip skip next skip Next, skip. Okay. Okay, actually we need to um, to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Let me do that. Give me a second. So 
don't know, just need to wait. Skip. As you can see, it's kind of hard to get out of the setup screen. It's a bit buggy, but you only need to do that once. <clears throat> so, again, skip. 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 Oh, God. Let me do that, give me a second. So I logged in into my Google account now. Let's see if it will work now. Okay. Next. Next, next. Okay. This is it, guys. After all, we managed to get out of the, the setup screen. So this is Android Nougat, as you can see. The, uh, here is the new Android 7.1 notification drawer. And let's go to the settings to confirm that this is really Android 7.1. And as you can see, it says Android 7.1 there. Android 7.1 here, again. And yeah, here it says Cyanogen mod, Cyanogen mod 14.1, as you can see. Sweet. And yeah, this was my installation video of Android Nougat. Give a thumbs up if you liked it and peace.